welcome to Top Secrets this week. What's going on? Open the vault because you've got some fun stuff to show you this week. Yeah. Uh, two quick things. Well, quick. I mean, they're pretty cool in my opinion. Let's kick it with the first one, which is a Metro design. Um, this is a design that actually we started back in 2019 or 2020. Uh, and then kind of like life sort of took over and also we couldn't get the chip. This is a IMX RT1011. That's a Cortex M7 chip running at uh, 500 megahertz, which is pretty cool. Um, we bumped up the QSPY memory to be eight megabytes. Um, up here is an ESP32. We use that as a Wi-Fi coprocessor, um, but you still get like the power of the Cortex M7. It's actually like the design again, like it pretty much worked. We even got Circuit Python working for it, Teeny UF2 bootloader, um, but just the chip shortage made it impossible to get parts. So I'm kind of trying to revive this board. It's one of my goals for 2023 20, is to get all the stuff that went out of stock over the last two years uh, due to pandemic or chip shortages and get it back in the store. Okay, so uh, we'll you can have actually sign up. Yeah, we'll have more information about the sim, but uh, oh, can you go to the um, start? Yeah, can you go to my computer? Yes, I think. Yeah, okay. it's actually you can sign up for it. Um, it's product 1950. So, uh, when this comes back to life, um, you'll be able to uh, pick up one of these. This is the prototype, it'll become fully assembled, of course, with headers and everything. Okay, um, next up. Next up this weekend, uh, I had a lot of delicious breakfast and uh, then sat down and just finished this board design that I've been kind of meaning to do for like over a year. Again, this is one of those, uh, it's been kicking in my head for a couple of years. Um, so all of the um, Feather 32U4 and M0s that we stock, um, they tend to have, you know, a Feather M0 plus maybe a Wi-Fi chip, maybe a uh, LoRa module, maybe a uh, SD card data logging setup. And, um, I, you know, we've had a lot of trouble getting these uh, Atmel chips. The 32U4 is not that powerful. And the SAMD21 also, you know, is, is pretty good for Arduino use, um, but is a little underpowered for CircuitPython or MicroPython. SAMD51 would be better, but I can't really get SAMD51s. I can't really get SAMD21s either still. So I thought, you know what, let's just do them all over in RP2040. It's available. It's low cost. Uh, we just hung out with the Raspberry Pi folks. Um, so the goal here was, you know, the RP2040 is just, it has more physical space because it has external flash memory and, uh, you need a lot of capacitors for it. And, um, you know, a lot of little extra components and needs a crystal, whereas the SAMD21 and 51, uh, do not. So just squishing everything to, you know, this area, just keep pushing it all to the side, starting with the Scorpio board and, um, making all that space that you see. And, you know, I have a couple modules here and each one of them fits. So, you know, there's a little MIDI connector, uh, radio modules, a ESP32 for airlift, maybe RS-232, um, maybe uh, we've got uh, HDMI since there's, you know, with eight pins, you can do DVI output, um, e-ink maybe. So there's a bit of space there. Um, you know, it's not a ton, it's not like a full, square inch it's like maybe three quarters of a square inch but maybe you know think of some ideas for stuff that can fit there a few people online on the socials give us some tips and uh suggestions for what we could fit in that little cavity all right any other things in your uh, top secret vault oh not not this week but okay. that's quite a bit we have more coming up ahead so thanks and stay tuned for more